Well, hello, friends. Hello, world. Hello, America. <laughs> it's been a minute. Um, I don't know if this, this is not an update. I can't consider this to be an update. And though it's been a minute since, you know, I have recorded anything. Um, <sighs> just older and more wiser now than I have been three years ago. You'll probably remember I had made several videos about a particular person that I was talking to and slash seeing or whatever you want to call it. Since then, that person has been locked up for a minute. They recently has been released. Uh, during that time, they was incarcerated. It gave me time to think and get myself together where I was like, to the point where my head was so screwed up. This person had my head so screwed up for so long. I know I did not know which way was up. Um, until that time part uh, gave me enough time to actually sit back and look at myself and what I was doing. I was actually destroying myself. My the respect I had for myself, the dignity, and everything else. Um, now, let's go forward. Um, now that the person, now, I, I can't view that person now as a person that I'm still in love with, with or that I once adored or, you know, I was just so head over heels for this person. Then, now it's like, I look at, look at this person like one of my homies or, you know, just, I don't know. I don't know even how to put it. It's, it just feel weird to me try to reconnect or, um, should I say, pick up where we left off. It, I don't think that's going to happen. It's just not going to happen because my feelings have changed. I have changed inside and out as far as attitude goes and how I look at people in general. Um, and as you can see, I have stopped smoking. Um, I don't drink like I used to. <laughs> that's why I set my mind. I'm thinking clearer. Um, like I said, I'm more wiser in the decisions that I make for my life. Um, but as far as I can go on and on and on about what this person has done to me in the past, you know, a um, few years back to the point now, the reason why I look at this person so differently, you know, um, I mean, I had put so, I had, excuse me, invested my time and my finances with this person that now I have nothing to give. I lost everything except for my family, you know, um, and I'm thankful that I have it. Um, and that talk about you know oh we're gonna do this with I had had some slip ups but as every humans you know we, we as humans make mistakes okay but it's up to each and every one of us to learn from them which I had to do you know um but I'm not the type now when that person invites me to, uh, you know, chill with the fam, mm -mm. I'm not doing it. Or, um, you know, just, oh, see how, you know, the fam is doing, you know, the kids and 
I don't want to get no longer, no longer want to get involved with that. I don't have, it's, that's messy. You know, that's messy. And I, I don't want to be no part, I don't want to have no parts of that. Um, far as they asking me, have I contacted their mother? Why would I do that when last time that that last discussion came up about your mother, you went off on me? When he went, well, he went off. Well, they went off on me. Sorry. Um, and that right there told me, oh, I don't want to have nothing to do with your peoples. I mean, no pun intended, but I just don't want to have no parts of that. That's their life, not mine. We're on two different, you know, we're on two separate paths in our lives. And they're not going to come, you know, they're not going to cross. Our paths are not going to cross. They're never going to cross. You know, because we had, our, we're just different. Our goals are not similar. Um, feelings for one another has changed. Um, and what really has done it for me were the lies. The deceit. Um, I just, I couldn't take no more. Like I said, I had my hair screwed up. I didn't know which way it was up. They took advantage of me because they thought because of my age I was young. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, all that. Act like I didn't have common sense. Which they can run behind these little scallywags or whatever you want to call them. And get nothing. Which I don't understand. When a person has somebody good, they want to treat them like dirt. And the ones that treat them like dirt, that's the ones they want to keep. I don't get it. And I had to learn. I almost lost my husband because of my... my incompetence my immaturity and the lack of how can I say lack of knowledge on how to save our marriage and stuff like that almost because it was my fault because he was out here doing all kinds of things all because of me and how I was carrying the situation. It's a good man. Wonderful man that take care of, you know, home and the family. Excuse me. Period. Period. Why would I wanna I'm thinking now, as I think, I would have gave all that up. For a bum in the street that broke every last promise they made, I'd be just as homeless as they are. No money, no job. Want to depend on next victim they can catch along the way. I don't need that. Like I said, I mean, had love for him, but that has changed to a certain extent. And um, I just can't allow myself to go back to that certain, to that situation or be in that predicament again. Because I know going back to that the consequence is going to be I'm going to lose everything including my husband everything because I have been warned well 
I'll give you an update next time. Love y'all.